Hello everyone, welcome back. This is the Gerbil, and this is my May 2nd Grand Arena Champion. I'm 2 and 0. This is round 3. Hoping to uh, take it to the bank. So this is a really good match. I, I think you'll, you'll probably enjoy it. There's um, a Rolo test with Admiral Akbar, which I think is... I think, yeah, I'm going to be doing that one more. That was really good. Um, there's a very unexpected defeat coming up in a moment and a really, really comforting win at the end in fleets. But stick around and we'll check them out. So the first was just, you know, typical open Jedi Master Luke taking down Slicker. I mean, why? It's easy. Why not? Um, I want to clear the bottom just so I can see what's behind in the back so I can better allocate everybody. CLS remains one of my top teams. Uh, I really like CLS, but I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna break them up next time. I'm gonna try Commander Luke with a few other people. I'm gonna take out Han Solo and Chewie. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna like that or not, but I'm thinking I'm gonna put them on defense, actually, under Dash. I keep re seeing people do things with that that's pretty interesting. I wanna give that a try. Uh, almost got Vandor. Uh, his Zeta and then geared high enough to make that viable. All right, so this this is the big frustration. I have the worst rate of success against Padme, like the worst. See, right now I'm stuck behind Kenobi. I'm not getting anywhere, just not even doing any real damage, it seems. And then watch this, coming out of, uh, watch this, watch this, hang on, Anakin, All four of them, Darth Revan, Bachelor, uh, HK, and Sith Marauder were at full health and full protection. And it's just like one hit, everyone's dead. <sighs> yeah, I have the worst time against Padme. Padme gives me more reservations than any other GAC team. I don't care who it is. Padme pisses me off. Um, I, I normally try Emperor Palpatine, Darth Vader, Thrawn, Mara, and Tarkin, just for the heck of it. And that's a 50-50, like a total 50-50 for me. And my mods are not bad at all. I mean, like, if you go over to SWGOH, you check out my mods relative to the other seven people in any given GAC. I have far more six dot mods, far more 20 plus speed mods. I always seem to have more 25 plus speed mods. Like I, I spent a lot of time modding. So it's not the mods, but my Emperor Palpatine Vader is like a 50, 50 win against Palpatine or against Padme. And we just saw Darth Revan's entire squad, including Malik go down in one hit, except for Marauder. Somehow he survived. I, I just don't understand. I don't understand. Anyway, sorry. I don't want to complain. So there we go. Murder Bears for the 60 plus whatever. I think that was 65 banners against Bounty Hunters. That was good. And we got the Utini Jawa Juice squeeze time. This, this faction... I think I want to later, not now, but when I get time, I, I think I want to gear up more of Treya because I, I think Treya's gonna get more banners consistently. See, these guys, two gear 12, two gear, relic four, one relic three, they're still, they're, they're pretty, pretty consistent with the 55 to 58 banners. Um, but that's, in, in Kyber, that's not good enough, right? You need 60, and if you can push 65, that's really what you need to see, 54, ugh! Ugh, ugh, I want to throw up a little in my throat right there. All right, what do we got next? So my my focus right now is on Aiden. I'm focusing hardcore on Aiden and Slicker, actually. But I think I'm going to abandon Slicker in a second because I'm just not enjoying it. Okay, oh yeah, this is Relic Resistance. 
Yeah, I, I notice I'm actually a whole lot closer to Kenobi than I am Slicker, except I still need like 50 watch shards, which in my guild is four months away. See, my guild is very, very casual. We, we are not, we don't push anyone. We don't tell anyone what to do. We don't make orders about what to farm. I just don't believe in that. I mean, it's a game. We should do what we enjoy. It, no one enjoys being told what to do. Now, maybe collectively you get better rewards and everyone's happier, have a net happiness. But my group is by choice not that way. So we're, we're pretty casual. Um, we all contribute. We had a really, really good Dark Side Geo run just a little bit ago. But we're still not getting enough watch shards to make. Actually, I don't know, four months away? I, I probably should shift to Kenobi because I, I think I have nine of the 16 ready to go and a couple are just like one or two relic levels away so i probably should just go ahead and do that and then i'll have it all ready yep i think i'm gonna switch but so anyway i didn't <laughs> i didn't uh first order pilots i'm just focusing on on those that's my number one though actually is the first order pilots because i need more fleets as you'll see in this in the, the end of this one a, a remarkable win followed by just a heart crushing loss yay this guy actually did some damage to my Wampa. They usually don't get past the bonus protection. 68 uh, banners, though. Can't complain. All right, here we go. Sith Eternal. This is always fun. This one is really, really good. I love this. This is a Relic 8 Sith Eternal. Wat Tambor just put the tech on the Emperor. We're doing good. So why does this work so well? It's actually pretty easy. Two things, three things really go against this team, uh, Sith, Sith Eternal. One your the b1 b2 and grievous all start under stealth which means sith eternal cannot link with them which is how he protects himself secondly the b2 applies the ability block stopping everybody from doing anything meaningful then grievous applies the healing immunity so sith cannot recover that health and because of that because he can't protect himself with deceived because he gets ability block because it gets healing immunity. It's so easy to kill him. See, here we go. Yay! Newt Gunray just got the kill shot. My Newt is only like gear 10 too. The, the caveats are you gotta remember, don't kill anyone else. Because if you kill anyone, then they all get health and protection back up to 100%. So just Immunity block, or uh, buff immunity everyone, or ability block, whatever it is. And then get that healing immunity and just focus down on Sith Eternal. I mean, Relic 8, squash. And he was modded right. I mean, he was modded for a lot of health. See that? Look at that. Good job, Grievous. 60 banners. Other thing is just don't put Sith Eternal on defense. And don't put Grievous on defense. Seriously, don't put Sith Eternal and Grievous on defense. <laughs> So many people do that. I mean, Grievous will steal banners if your opponent doesn't have a Relic Wampa. If they do have a Relic Wampa, you're just giving them a high win. See, so see, like I said, I hate Pad Me. So I took in, I took in my Sith Eternal. Uh, I just took him to Relic Eight, by the way, today. Uh, so mine is only Relic Seven. I know it's so sad, but yeah, Relic Eight today. And I'm still trying to figure out exactly who to put in here. Now, against Padme, I have no idea if C and Watt could, could duo this. I think they could have, but my track record against Padme is so bad that I just, I just said, you know what? Let, let's just go in with some overkill protection. Let's put some cannon fodder there for them to try to hammer down, taking more turns to get C's ultimate you know, before he gets a whole lot of hits. And it's actually going pretty good here. Miraculously, nobody has died. My Darth Revan team completely died faster than this. Of course, Anakin already did the AoE in the last match, so his cooldown is reset right now. Not reset, but it's, it's high. It's counting down. And we're getting that, uh, that ultimate rather slowly. All right, so we link Cat, link Kenobi, Big hit, yeah. Lost two of them, almost lost Dooku. But big hit was nowhere near as big. All right, down goes Watt. All right, so I gotta admit, I'm starting to get a little worried at this point even. 
And here's the big hit. And look at that. Took down the two links, but didn't kill Ahsoka. Like, wow, this team is just so hard. And Anakin and Ahsoka were both in the red and both back up to almost full health. All right, so we'll link the two. Linkage, linkage, linkage. Zap, zap, pointy finger, zap, zap. It's a good thing these people don't know to just hold their lightsaber up. Because if you hold your lightsaber up in front of the Emperor, he dies. The Emperor just, he cooks himself. Like, he shoots his electricity and he, he just doesn't know to stop shooting lightning when they hold up a lightsaber. It's crazy. I mean, Mace Windu did it. Ray did it. I think somebody else did it. If they've got, if, if, uh, oh, yeah, here we go. Rolo. This is great. Look at that. Triple shot, or the, the AoE just got ability block on three of them. So I made a whole separate video about this. See, Rolo's basic applies ability block, buff. So, uh, buff. No, sorry. Rolo's basic applies buff immunity. Excuse me. So you make sure that she's the weak, weaker character, so she's always assisting. And then her AoE attacks 10 times. If anybody gets hit more than once, it applies ability block. And it has a cooldown of 16, which is insane, but it goes down every time she scores a critical hit, including its own attack. So you, my mods here suck, but you mod her for high crit, um, she'll land 10 of those, so it drops down to six, and then with the assists, it drops down every time she assists. So like right there, you can see ability buff, um, and oh man, I, I'm thinking that this is a winner, an absolute winner. Not only that, her basic gives her plus 10 or 20 or 30 percent turn meter depending on some conditions. So she's constantly assisting, gaining turn meter, applying buff immunity, and then the AOE every other turn is going to do a mass ability block. I'm saying she's a winner, much better than than Biston at the moment, and I think much better than Chirrut. But I'm still testing, still testing. This is like my third or fourth Grand Arena in a row, also to throw Anakin at a way under geared Karth team. I think I'm going to do a video later just on what not to put on defense anymore. I know there's tons of videos from like from like um, you know um, Zareth Prevails, Arnold, Cubs about like the top teams and they're great videos but the reality is anybody like Kyber 3 and below probably doesn't have a lot of those tunes. My roster's never been meta focused. I mean, look, I just used Rolo and Double Act Barlea, Ewoks. So I think I'm gonna do like um, a Grand Arena defense and offense recommendation for the non, like for the the Kyber, low Kyber and below, like for the for the peasants, for the little peoples. That sounds condescending, but not how I mean it. I don't mean it that way. Oh, 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 here we go. Executor versus Rebels. And this is not, this is not a maxed Executor. It's only four stars, which is why I do this. And the trick is to kill the supports as quickly as you can. And that was a good opening. And that was a better opening, all those assists. We've already popped Razor Crest once. Now here's the trick. Do we heal and get rid of the breach? Or do we AOE, which does nothing but slightly tickle the Razor Crest and uh, Cad Bane? We go for that. The reason we don't heal is because we try to rely on that right there. The Hans Millennium, Falcon, Hans Millennium Falcon will passively cleanse if you get three debuffs. We ended up losing Biggs, but that's actually okay because it got rid of Breach, which lets Hans Millennium Falcon remove Taunt from Hound's Tooth, which allowed us to target the other ships. And then that right there is why we love Cassian. He comes in, again, removes Taunt if it was still there, and then calls 100% uh, crit with crit, extra crit damage from Hans Millennium Falcon, which calls an assist from his basic. So you get three shots taken out Cad Bane. So now we've taken out Cad Bane and Razor Crest, and we've only lost Bix, which is a problem because we don't have a tank, but that's okay because we're gonna get one any minute. Okay, let's remove some buff, debuffs. Or actually, I guess we didn't. Wow, I, I probably would have done that differently, but ah, it worked. Took away the, the buff. See, taunt, uh, Houndstooth, as we know, just keeps taunting over and over again as long as someone has breach. And so that's the trick, is sometimes you just remove the breach 
whether or not somebody's at full health, right? Sometimes like when Biggs was at full health, it's like, do I remove the breach so that I can remove the taunt? It's, it's a conditional. And that's a miracle right there. That never works for me. Y-Wing never successfully lands the debuff or whatever that is on Houndstooth. But it worked and down he goes. And this is just over at this point. Once, once uh, Hans Falcon shoots, boom, there we go. We cleansed off all those buffs and now this is just game over. Triple shot with double shot and a, another one. Wow, he survived, that's amazing. Banner thief, it was total banner thief at the end. Should have got three more banners for that. Oh well, so we win. Yay, rebels for the win. And then the poo poo hits the fan. So I always lose mirror matches, pretty, it feels like, with, with ships. I checked this out. My, my Chimera is one point faster in speed. His is 160, mine is 161. I have a slight speed advantage. Um, I think we lose because his other ships may be higher stars than mine, like the secondaries, but I don't really know. And I do do some stupid things in here. Yeah, I do. I do a few stupid things. Um, I'm still learning this. It's my fault. I mean, I don't mean to complain. It's my fault. I just... I'm so frustrated right now. I love ships in general, but I the, the three ships, you know, for Kyber offense, defense, I'm really feeling that right now. Like, I have... I've only had one full clear in the last six matches. And that's okay, I can live with that. But I've also had a loss, it feels like, in almost every single match. Even the rounds I've won, I've lost a ship battle. Yep, there goes Second Sister. And it feels also like, almost no matter what, like... I don't know, just... It's kind of even matched right here. Yeah. But I, I just, I don't know. I got to learn my turn orders and what to do and all that jazz. But anyway, I am i don't feel like talking anymore. I'm going to lose this one. And then I'm going to mirror match negotiator. And I'm going to lose that one. And then I'm going to take in finalizer and clean up this chimera battle. So enjoy it. Hope you uh, enjoyed the show. It's It was a good one, I think. Right? The Rolo testing was really fun. The General Grievous Smackdown of Sith Eternal Relicate was really, really fun. And uh, the Rebels crushing was really fun. So I enjoyed this one. Hope you did too. I'll see you all later. Take care.